not change. Okay. Are we ready to change to the next question? Mm -hmm. uh, this question has four questions in it. <laughs> <laughs> what are the principles of nonviolent communication? How do I apply this? And then the other part of the question you want to hear now or later, it doesn't really... Not really okay, so then I answer this first. The essence of nonviolent communication is based on the idea that we are all the time in relationship with each other as our own self. Yeah, the other people are the reflection of your own self. The other people are a mirror of your own self. Okay? There's only but the self and different mirror that reflect back yourself. So therefore, you should love. Nonviolent non means love. Yeah, love and respect. Love means not just love, romantic love, but love and respect. So you should love and respect these reflections of yourself and, um, and you have to learn to communicate with these different reflections of yourself. Yeah. Ask your own self because it would um, help you to understand better your own self. Because your own self is not alone. To so think that the self is alone in this body, fresh, uh, flesh, body and mind is a complete mistake. It's only a embodiment of your mistake, of your misunderstanding about yourself. That's why you have a separate body and mind. And when you have the separate body and mind, you need to learn how to communicate with the other people that have separate body and mind in order to find something that is real in between all of them, all of the farms. So that's why you have to, fundamentally, you have to learn how to love and respect other people as your own self and learn to communicate with other people with love and respect, yeah, in order for you to find the truth about them that will show you, reveal you the truth about you. So you have to know that everyone has the basic needs. The basic needs that represent the self in you and in them. For example, they have the basic needs of freedom. Everyone has the basic needs of freedom. Why? Because the soul is free. Everyone has the basic needs to be understood and to be loved. Why? Because love is the true nature of everything. Everyone needs to have the basic need to be respected, yeah? to be heard, to be acknowledged. Why? Because consciousness and um, uh, consciousness is the real thing. Mm -hmm. So you need to, to hear each other now, everyone has a basic need of, uh, for example, of uh, beauty. Why? Because beauty is, uh, is uh, the beauty of, uh, of creation, the beauty of nature. Everyone has a basic need of um, creativity. Why? Because creativity is an expression of the soul. Everyone has a basic need of uh, what? of um, um, or love, respect. So there is a long list, you can study more. But all these represent the, the quality of the soul in yourself and in others. So you, can, you cannot uh, take away this thing from people you need to help actually to give them what they need because when you give them what they need, essential need, then you give to yourself as well. You acknowledge that in yourself. Mm -hmm. Let's say that you, you give to people, the, the, somehow you encourage people in their creativity, in their sense of beauty. Then you, you, you acknowledge that, 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 that in yourself as well. Yeah, let's say you give to people respect, then you acknowledge your desire 
to be respected and your need to be uh, for self-respect and you know which is essential for for growth so anything that you you give to any anybody outside is what you are wanting for yourself yeah so you um, you it's the same thing you don't want to to give to people what you don't want to be done to yourself you don't want to give violence to people because you don't want anybody to be violent toward you yeah and it's a why because it's it's a contrary to the truth the truth is we are one so therefore who is abusing who who would gain more power over who who is better or superior than who yes so so we have to give to people what we want and then we have to learn to communicate with that which is your own self so it, it takes time to communicate it takes time to explain yourself it takes time to consider if a person receive what you you say if you should change your word or your tone in order for the person to receive the, the words so communication is an art that is based on that respect and love of the self but if you think that other people if you your ego think that other people have to understand what i say yeah without you explaining or if you just order people around or you just say yeah without context yeah of course you sometimes you know like there's a little lady that just came here now she's just now and she's shaking, her hand is shaking like this, and her voice is coarse and she can hardly express herself. She walk a few steps and she almost have a heart attack. And she cannot breathe. I mean, she's from the symptom looking and she's very sick. Yeah. So at that time, I don't ask her, for example, I respect her, but I don't ask her. She's a new lady just come in, a guest. Do you like to take care of yourself? Do you like to do a yoga class? I don't ask her that, yeah. But I say it will be very good for you to stay here a few days and take care of yourself. Otherwise, you know, you you going to be very sick, yeah. And it's already the symptoms are there. So I'm very much more stronger with her. And um and she's like there's some spark in her eyes all of a sudden, and she look and she say, she follow me with her eyes, yeah. And it's like, oh, somebody telling me the truth of what I'm supposed to be doing. Mm -hmm. I said, they don't try to, to, to please me and to make me understand that, oh, you know, you're okay. You look good. See? So why? Because I see herself as myself. So I don't abuse her by giving things that are very strong, like almost like a strong order to her. Yeah, it's like sometimes you give a strong order to yourself. You need to do this. Yeah, so, but I see her as my own self. So the same. Nonviolent communication doesn't mean that you have to be all blah, 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 blah. And, and make sure that everybody is pleased and don't tell the truth. And it's not like that at all. Yeah, but you have to see the self, the other people as your own self. Yeah. So when you really truly see that and feel that, people understand your message. Yeah. And then you, you, um, and you express yourself. Yeah. So, you know, I see, I take a lot of time writing email in my little cell phone. Sometimes I'm like blind. Yeah. I write rather long message, but not very long, but explaining this and that. Yeah. The reason why is it creates the communication. Yeah. When you communicate with somebody, you communicate what with their intellect, you communicate with who they are, but you communicate also with their emotions. So you have to learn how to, how to soothing this out, you know. So now I don't say Om Namah Shivaya, blessed self, how are you? 
like these greetings from whatever that usually I do. Sometimes now I skip this. Um, I still, it depends on who. Sometimes I finish writing the email, I have to go back and add on Om Namah Shivaya, bless itself, how are you? So because people receive the email and they already feel favorable, they feel they are respected. Yeah, and then they receive your your communication better. Yeah, the idea is you have to have that respect and you have to put yourself out, which is your time. Of course, everyone has a lot of work to do and you have a lot of time. You don't have a lot of time. You have to do other things. But if you understand that this is so important, yeah, to make that, that, that connection or that communication be something that is elevating for people and elevating for you. And that is yoga in itself and it's very valuable. Now that moment when people receive the email, they don't have to do a guesswork to figure out what is it that you are trying to say. But you know, most of the time I receive people email like rude. Yeah, they don't um, say what is it behind. Yeah, and then they, they, they think, they assume that people have to understand where they come from. Yeah, so um, it's, not, uh, it's not very uh, enlightened. It's not very aware. How does it work? Okay. So it's communicating in a sweeter manner, a little bit more taking time, a little bit more aware when you're talking, yeah? And it is a very good practice, yeah? It's a very, very good practice. And, and, and um, also sometimes you don't want to communicate. Sometimes you resent, yeah? You close off, right? You, you, there's a, yeah, sometimes you escape, that means you don't, um, there's three ways. You escape, that means you, you, you don't really communicate. Yeah? You just talk about sky and sun, uh, who knows what, what you're talking about, but really there's no real communication. You are surrounding yourself with a defensive thing. So you don't want people to know who you are because you feel so bad about yourself, or you feel so good about yourself that you don't think anybody cares. Uh, anybody is deserving your attention. So all these are all kind of pattern of wrong thinking that would not help you to become happy because it's about you. So escape mode is one thing. And another thing is you open your mouth and you will be criticizing. Yeah, the only thing you see is what's, what's wrong with the people. Yeah, so that also is wrong. Yeah, or um, what is it now? The other thing. Um, escape. I'm about to say something. The third way is, um, yeah, is that you avoid. You are in avoidance mode. Yeah, you are in, you recruit, you, you retreat within yourself and you say, nobody understand me. I'm going to stay away. Yeah, and behind this retreating, yeah, there is a lot of ego there playing. Yeah. So the ego means the idea of I'm better. Ego is the idea that I'm worse. Yeah. All these are not good. So you need to come with the, you know, sincere, open hearted. You are not the best. You are not worse. You are not perfect. Yeah. But God is perfect or the self is perfect within you. And you remember that, and your mind is in that, then you can communicate yeah, with respect to other people, and you have to learn to listen. And you say, nobody understand me anyway, nobody listen to me anyway, you see? So this kind of thing just shows that you have this pattern of not be able to communicate with people, so then you, you are not listening to them, and then you, you carry on in that, in that mode of um, hiding. So you need to break through that. If you think people don't listen to you, then the first thing you need to do is to try to listen to other people. Yeah, you try to listen to them carefully. Yeah, and not about you, it's about them. And you try to really, it's an art of listening. Because when you listen, you always have an opinion. Yeah, and you always bring yourself in there. You don't really listen. 
you listen, but then you always say, oh, me too, I'm like this. You know, so always you bring something like this in. You just listen. Yeah, purely let's just learn to open up and listen. And see how a person, you know, how they talk. And they talk, and sometimes they just need you to listen them, to them, so they feel comfortable, and they talk. Either you can help them, either you don't help them. You cannot help them. You only help them by listening. But just the fact that they, they can trust you and they can learn how to listen, uh, and how to express themselves, is already a very good thing. Okay? So the quality of compassion need to be there. So sometimes it's inside nonviolent communication, which uh, I prefer the other sen the other words called compassionate communication. Okay, the word compassionate communication I like better because nonviolent is always there's a none there, there's a, a negative thing. Okay, so it's better to use the positive thing. Yeah. So Rudra wants to use the email, nonviolent action or something. You know, nonviolent in nonviolence in action. So I change back and say it's better to use love in action. Then it's much, much more positive. You know, nonviolence and people already shrink. You know, what is it? I need to refine from. No. You go with nature. The nature is normally very cohesive and very uh, comprehensive and very positive. So, um, okay, so a part of nonviolent communication, which is that word, uh, compassionate com communication is to see a person as yourself. And um, there's a few things that you try to avoid, which is a list that you can learn. For example, avoid that guessing game. I mean, you, you, you make people guess what you need yeah? and you guess what people need. So that guessing game is very difficult. Okay? And then you get you, you upset because you, you, you make people guess what you, you want and what you need without expressing. And if people don't follow what you guess, what they're supposed to guess, then you get upset. You see? So, and you say, but I told you yesterday already, but now everything changed. Yeah, the yoga class, every day you repeat the same thing. They do the same uh, posture. So people need to be reminded all the time. Every moment is fresh and new. So for the, another way that you try to avoid is um, all or nothing. Yeah, every time the sentence comes, all or nothing. It's a, it, it messed up the communication. You all the time do this. You all the time say this. You never do this. You never do this. So all this thing is a problem. All or nothing. Black and white. This is another way. Black and white. Yeah. Everything is so bad. Yeah. Everything is supposed to be so good. Like this. So this is a problem of your, your thinking. So you, you filter everything when you you, you want to report something or you want to appreciate something, you always go through a filter. The filter of anger, the filter of feeling that nobody cares about what you, you are. There is a filter that, you know, of the past, the filter of the projection of the future. So you always see things through filters. Yeah? And you communicate like this. So that creates a lot of problems. So, okay, so I'm not going to go through too much, but you have to study more about the essential needs of everyone. See it in yourself, respect other people, and then try to exercise yourself because it's all exercise. You have to learn. Don't assume that what you think in your mind get out in your mouth is that what it is. No. You have to learn how to think, how to soften your thinking, soften your feeling, find the nuances to things so then you can express yourself. That will soothe everyone. Yeah, it's an art. It's a power if you can do this. Yeah, otherwise your words only will be meet, maybe meet only two or three people. They'll be in the same wavelength, and other people you miss out. Yeah, they and they don't understand who you are. Okay, and when they don't understand who you are, you are not uh, empowering yourself. 
because the self is one. If everyone understands who you are, you are transparent, and you understand everyone who they are, bingo, you get it. <laughs> so this is realization of self right there. Okay. Okay. Actually, the next question someone else has. 